So we will need to take a look at the spacing that we had from the work we did yesterday and take a look at the grid paper that we notated as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. So to, to get started notating our music with the rhythm, we'll start out um, from the beginning just drawing the treble clef as well as the bass clef and uh, joining the two staves together with our bar line and our bracket just like this and then of course we'll need to draw our time signature so we know how many beats are in each measure since we're in 4-4 four, four, there will be four beats in each measure we'll need it for both the treble clef and the bass clef all right, so this first note has one entire beat. And everything below the middle line will have stems going up. Everything above it will have stems going down. And everything on the middle line right here, the third line, will have stems going down as well. So this is above the middle line, so the stem is going to go down, and we want to space it just like we have in the, the graph, the staff graph above. So each of these get one beat, so they will need quarter notes. So I'm drawing quarter notes here, and just following the spacing as well as the notes. Now I'll need to draw the bar line here. You, of course, won't need to draw any of the grid sections, but we'll need to draw the bar lines. And then all of these get one beat, so I'm going to continue with quarter notes. And then here's our E, getting one beat on beat three. And then third line up. It's the middle line, so the stem's still going to go down. And then here is the bar line to end that measure, because there's four beats in that measure. And then we're going to continue. This C right here is below the middle line, so the stems are going to go up. And then here we're on the middle line. Now as far as the stem length, we want them to be not too long and not too short so just look at the quarter notes that I'm drawing right now and that's about the length of the stems that you'll want alright and then this last note on this page has two full beats so I will need to draw a half note because a half note will get two beats so it gets both the third and the fourth beat. Then draw my bar line. Okay, and then on this next page, I'll need to draw our two clefs, our treble clef on the top staff, and then the bass clef on the bottom staff. And then, of course, join the two staves together with a bar line and a bracket, like so. Okay, we actually will not need the time signature again. You only do that at the beginning of the piece. Okay, and then these are all one beat each, so quarter notes again. And keep in mind I'm keeping the spacing that I had before. And then here's a G on beat four, and then bar line and continuing with the next measure quarter note stems are going down because we're above the middle line here's our E above the middle line and then we're on the middle line but since we're on the middle line we're still we're still going to keep the stem going down okay bar line and this next note will have stem going up and then another one with the stem going up since it's below the middle line. 
And then stem going down, this is on the middle line, that's D. And then the next one is E, still a quarter note because all of these equal one beat, bar line. And then D for one beat, C for one beat. And the next one is going to be two beats, so we'll have a quarter or a half note. And then we're going to end this piece with a double bar line. We call this a, a finale bar line. It's one thin line and then at the very end a bolder line, like so. Okay, so the top staff is completely silent the whole time. So let's fill in whole rests which will mean that nothing will need to be sounded in the treble clef staff. So we'll need to draw a whole rest for each of these measures. So here's the third measure, here's the fourth measure. And then of course we'll need to do the same thing for the second page. So here is a whole rest. It, the whole rest you draw on the fourth line up, or the second to the top line. So you draw your line on that line so it's almost invisible, and then you go about halfway down the space so that you have your whole rest made just like so. Alright, there you have it.